Hey guys, so I know this is a bit of a different video that I'm doing right now, but E3 is coming up and I'm really excited and I just thought, hey, I see a lot of people doing these like E3 bingo or, you know, that kind of stuff. I thought, I'll just pitch in, just throw some of my predictions once and just kind of put them on this thing right here. So it'll be fun. So I have a list here, and keep in mind, I don't expect to get a blackout, or maybe not even a bingo. I just think that there's a lot of things that could happen, and I'm going to try to set it up so that uh, yeah, what I think will happen, and then enough stuff will potentially happen to maybe get me a bingo on this board. So, hey, it's fun. So, a couple things we have here are... Super Mario Party 2. So, the thing with this is, they recently, you know, did the whole online update for Super Mario Party. And it's like, I kind of, and a lot of people apparently also share this thing, it's like, it kind of seems like they're testing the waters a bit to maybe see if there's still interest in Super Mario Party, if it out online. And judging from the some of the spike in videos that I saw about Mario Party and playing with friends, I think that they succeeded in that endeavor. So, I think that it is possible that we could see Mario Party 2 at this thing. So, we will add that to our list. Let me just... Yeah, there it is. It's going to be so much fun. And, we're going to have to do this with all these, aren't we? Oh well, anyway. Next thing I have is a new Donkey Kong game. And there's like that also, that rumor going around where, oh, the Mario Odyssey devs are, you know, making a Donkey Kong game. And it's like, I don't know if that's getting, I really don't know if that's gonna happen, but I figure there's no problem, there shouldn't be a problem in putting it on here, you know? And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> and so then we have the alternative, I feel like. I feel like if we don't have a new Donkey Kong game, then we are actually going to get Mario Odyssey 2. I really feel like, because we haven't heard from the Mario Odyssey development team since Mario Odyssey, which was almost four years ago, three and a half years ago at this point. So, I do feel like if this rumor isn't true, then we'll probably be seeing this. So, that's why I have it there. And now we're going to move on to our next thing, which is, I have a lot of Mario stuff on this. I might randomize the board a bit later to make it more realistic. I have a miscellaneous... Well, that looks beautiful on there. I'll fix that. Mario spinoff. And so, what I mean by that is... Oh, that looks ugly. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Anyway, that what I was thinking was... Miscellaneous is anything that is Mario and I'm not... It is not on this board. Because I think I have a couple Mario predictions later on. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But... So anything that is centered around Mario that will not be on that is not already on this board or will be on this board later on. So for example, not a party not Mario Party, not a new 3D Mario, probably not a new 2D Mario, and I have another a couple other stuff here. So essentially some kind of Mario spinoff. Whether it's Mario Luigi, I love to see Mario on the Ouija back because I love those games and it's really sad that Alpha Dream went bankrupt. So I like to see this if this happens. So, yeah, that would be something that I'd really like to see. And for our next thing, I have Breath of the Wild 2. And I really feel like this is a, this is like a bullseye, or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's going to happen, because I feel like if they don't show it, then people are going to be mad. Because <laughs> um, it's like... Um, Ayanuma, I believe that's his name, said in the February Direct, was like, there will be more info on Breath of the Wild 2 later this year. And so, I feel like if it's not at E3, 
people are going to be reasonably upset about that. So, I think that this is, I think this is a lock, honestly. I think this is going to happen. I don't know about other people, but I think it's going to happen. Our next thing here is Metroid. It's been so long since we've seen anything from Metroid. The last Metroid thing we got was, was it, I think it was Samus Returns, and then we got the update saying, hey, Metroid Prime 4 got restarted. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, and especially there's been rumors going on of, like, Metroid Prime Trilogy, a new 2D Metroid, and then it's been a while now since they've restarted development on Metroid Prime 4. So I feel like it's, it's, it's possible that we could see something from Metroid Prime 4 in this direct. It might just be like a re-reveal because it's been a while since we've seen it. But, you know, if you saw something like gameplay, I wouldn't mind it. My next prediction is a new legacy console for Switch Online. And so, I think that they're gonna reveal something, like whether it's N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, I do think that there will be something new for Switch Online, a new legacy console, even if it's not like, even if they make it more like the virtual console, where it's like you buy them individually, I'll count that. And so, what I was saying anyway about Metroid is like, I will now I will not count Metroid if it's just revealed like a you know Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance and then the Met Game Boy Advance is coming to N N Nintendo Switch Online. I will not count that as Metroid. It has to be like its own full release. I guess my Metroid Prime Trilogy. I'm kind of counting that as even though it's a re-release, but you know I will count that. That's the only re-release I'll count. And then 2D Metroid and Metroid Prime 4. And I guess that brings us to our new thing, which is a new kind of Battle Royale style 99 style game. This is probably one of my le more less likely predictions, but since we just got Pac-Man 99 recently, I still need to play that. I've heard it's really good. But um, I think that they have some uncharted territory here that they could go with and i do think i do think it is possible and if it's something like like mario 35 where it's like zelda 35 or donkey kong 40 i will count that as a new 99 game new kind of battle royale style game is even if it's like limited edition like mario 35 was and now we have one of my more favorite parts of this which is a New Smash Bros. reveal. And honestly, when it comes to predictions on Smash reveals, I've gotten absolutely none of them right so far. I kind of said Steve for the funny, like, I, I obviously have made no videos about it, but I just kind of made my own personal predictions and I kind of said, haha, Steve Minecraft during Fighters Pass 1, and it actually happened during Fighters Pass 2, which actually I was way happy for because. I'm part of the generation now that has actually played Minecraft as a kid and really liked it. So, yeah. New Smash Review. I think, uh, I, I think this is like a Breath of the Wild 2. It's another lock. We have Pyramithra revealed like... Oh man, it's like almost three months ago now. So, yeah. I feel like we need to see a new Smash character. And now, we'll move to our next one. Which is, this is the Mario thing that I was talking about where um, if we get a Mario spinoff, then I would not count it if this happened, which is Mario Kart 9. And here's my take on this, because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a Wii U port. And people have made the argument that we haven't gotten an original Mario Kart on the system, where... It's technically not true because we have Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, but I think a lot of people won't count that as mainline Mario Kart, which is, I think that's interesting is now Mario Kart, a spinoff, is now getting its own spinoff. I don't know. I just, that this is kind of funny to me. I do think that Mario Kart 9 is a possibility, but just the fact that 8 Deluxe is just selling so well and, you know, why would they just cut that off short? 
when it's still their best-selling game. Animal Crossing gave it a run for its money, but it's still at the top, so I don't know. This is also one of my le- less likely predictions. I just, I'm not entirely sure it's going to happen, but I'll put it up here for just the fact that it might happen. And I already shifted the alignment on this one, so my next prediction here is, oh, yeah. So this is another less likely one, but I think it might be possible that we might not just get one Smash Bros. reveal, but that we might get two Smash Bros. reveals. And whether this is something that's like really insane or not, I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now, but again, this is way less likely seeing that this is probably, I think that Fighter Pass 2 is the end of Smash Bros. DLC, Ultimate DLC. Maybe like a bonus character like Piranha Plant was before the Fighter's Pass, maybe at the very end, but... I do think that Fighters Pass 2 is likely the end of it, at least for a long time. Until they like have a new system and they just port Ultimate and add more DLC to it. But yeah, this is a more le- le- less likely one, but it could happen. It could happen. So we'll move on to our next one here, which is the wonderful thing that I like to call what everyone likes to call the Nintendo Switch Pro. And this is interesting because it's like I'd be hyped for a Switch Pro, but I'm not entirely sure if I would get it because I'm pretty happy with my Switch right now as is. My only problem is Joy-Con drift. I'm going to put that back because that looked ugly. So it's like, oh uh, no. Oh boy. That, that's fun. My thing with the Nintendo Switch Pro is I, I'm sure that there are some people that would love it, but just for me, I wouldn't see much of a need to get one because I already have one. And it's like, oh, 4K stuff is like, yes, I do have access to a 4K TV. It's very nice of some family to set up. They just, they're just nice. And it's like, hey, who knows your TV's broken? Here's a 4K. It's like, wow, thank you. <laughs> but um, anyway, is like they're saying 4K compatibility and it's like, I'm just the kind of person who just can't see graphics that well. So it's like, if it was 4K, I wouldn't be entirely sure at the beginning. Even if I had a, even with something that was capable of, you know, producing 4K images, it would be kind of hard for me to notice. It's like, I think that the HD stuff like Smash Bros, like I can tell between Wii graphics and Wii U Switch graphics. That's about as far as I get. <laughs> I, I just cannot tell, like, graphics are just, you know, there's a certain point that my eyes reach where it's just like, yeah, it looks pretty, but it doesn't look any prettier than this thing, which is running, like, twice the graphic capacity, so, I don't know. So, yeah, it's just like, it would be cool, but it probably wouldn't be something that I'm that interested in, unless maybe they fix Joy Con Drift, but... I don't know if they'd ever do that. Just just seeing how they are now. I don't know if that would be a thing that they do. I'm just lucky that not a lot of my, like, I have two sets of Joy-Cons and a Pro Controller, and only one of those sticks is drifting so far, and I'm just hoping that it doesn't happen anymore, knock on wood. I'm just hoping that none of my other ones drift, start drifting, because it's, you know, it's not that fun. And anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, here's our free space, E3 2021, yay. Um, here is my another one. As, as I was building it, as kind of just writing up a list for myself, I was like, eh, this one probably wouldn't be revealed at Nintendo's E3, but I figured, eh, why not? We have Fall Guys release date. Because I believe we have not gotten our full release date for that. It's like, it was pushed back, because it was initially announced for summer of this year, and then it was pushed back as, like, indefinitely. So, um, I figured it was, like, this probably won't be revealed at a, like, full E3 thing. It'd probably just be revealed, like, uh, through the their developers, like, Twitter, or just Nintendo's Twitter, but I don't know. I just thought I'd, I might as well put it on here. 
I have it already. So, yeah. So, next thing that I have here is Splatoon 3. And this thing where it's like, it's just revealed in the last direct. I do think that it's possible that they do talk about this more. Like, I really do think it's possible. Uh, no, go back. <laughs> um, just because it's still, like, Splatoon is becoming this really kind of big IP for Nintendo. Because it's, it's gotten really popular. And so, I don't know. I feel like they did say 2022. But, like, I think it just today, actually, they just... Pokemon Company just revealed that um, Pokemon Legends Arceus is, like, coming out in late January of 2022. And it's like, that's kind of crazy. So, I think that that might make Splatoon 3 maybe their spring-slash-summer game in 2022. And I feel like that's close enough, about a year out, that they might actually go in-depth about it a bit. But I'm not entirely sure, but I think that it is possible. So, I bet on the board. <laughs> anyway, let us move to our next thing, which I think now I'm getting a bit more vague, but, oh well. So, I have here, big indie surprise. Surprise. <laughs> and, what I'm essentially going by that is, there's like some big indie game that we really haven't, seen on the Switch, whether it's, like, you know, with the graphics or two, thing is, like, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but essentially, for some reason, uh, a big indie game that hasn't been on Switch or maybe just being announced in general, and it's, like, everyone's just, like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, whether it's, like, a full-on reveal, like, Delta Rune Chapter 2, I, I don't think that's likely at all to be revealed in a Nintendo Direct, but... It would be cool. And then I think I've heard somewhere that the, we've been told not to expect Silk Song at E3. So, you know, probably not that. <laughs> but um, I do think that it's possible that we could kind of. It's either like a completely new indie game that we have no idea, and it's like, wow, that looks really cool. Or it's like this long rumored indie game, or that. Or this really cool indie game that's never made it on Switch, and then it's. This is a switch forward, and everyone's like, wow, that's crazy. But I do think it's possible. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not the biggest indie guy. I don't know all the indies out there. So it, I, I plan on doing like a recording of my reactions. And so if, it, if something like this is revealed, it may not be like immediately obvious to me. So I may have to have that pointed out to me. It's like, no, this is like big. This is, this is big indie surprise. So... Yeah, I think that we will the we could see something big from an indie developer at the Nintendo Direct, and now we'll go to our next one, which is, I think this is probably also a lock. It's an Animal Crossing update, and just like because heard hearing this, there's supposed to be a summer update, so that would be this would be a prime time to reveal summer update, right? right near the beginning of summer and just kind of reveal what it's all about. I, I'm i also not too into Animal Crossing. I got the game for some of my family and I'm probably the one who's played about the least, but um, yeah, I think there's going to be an Animal Crossing update. What do you guys think? Because I don't have any good idea. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on to... This is something that I think has been gearing up to. And I don't think a lot of people really are thinking about this, but I'm thinking about it and I think it would be cool. I think it would be way cool. So in this slot, I have a retro series revival. And so I'm thinking along the lines of here is essentially a series that we have not seen anything from since the GameCube or Game Boy Advance. 
that's kind of like the the line that I'm drawing. Anything past the Wii is not really retro for me yet. So, um, whether it's F Zero, Earthbound series, or there's not a lot. <laughs> Honestly, they've they've brought in some new series. This like oh yeah, that kind of cuts it off. It was like they did Kid Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS. They Oh, what was it? Man. Obviously, they've done Luigi's Mansion, which was kind of a series before the 3DS, but there was one... There was one series that I was like, I really had an example for as, like, something that I was going to do, but then they revealed it. Was it... Uh, anyway. I don't know how much I'm going to cut this video, so... It may leave that part edited in there very frequently, but... You know... Just something that we haven't seen from them since, like, the GameCube Game Boy Advance. And it's, like, it's this really big thing. It's, like, whoa, they're really bringing this back. And, yeah. It's, like, something like Star Fox. I don't know. Not Star Fox. I wouldn't count Star Fox as that because it feels like we haven't really, really seen it since, like, the GameCube. But we did have Star Fox Zero. It does exist. <laughs> Some of us just have to live with that, but... I, it, it would still be cool to see a new Star Fox game. I don't have it on here, but if it would, I wouldn't count it as a retro series for Apple because we have had a game from it recently. So, yeah. Even if it's like something way obscure like Ice Climbers, <laughs> that would that'd be interesting to see like an Ice Climbers remake or reboot. Maybe Star Tropics. I don't know. I, I'd like to see something like that where they just kind of bring back an old franchise that people have been asking for. It's like, hey, we are actually doing a new F-Zero game. I do feel like if they did do a new F-Zero game, they wouldn't do Mario Kart 9. So, I do feel like it's kind of a mix between those two. Because it would likely be F-Zero. Probably not. Mother Earthbound series. But, their biggest dormant retro series for me is probably F-Zero. It would be cool to see that come back. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I've been talking too much about this. Now we have some of the stuff that I'm not really wanting, but more stuff that I'm expecting to see. For example, we have Project Triangle Strategy. And just this is kind of one of the big games that they focused on in their last Direct. It's like I feel like they kind of focused a bit too much on it, but they did focus on it. So I feel like it is possible for us to see it again in this next Direct and... It could be something like the revealing the actual name of it, or maybe it's just Project, maybe it's just Triangle Strategy, because I feel like they did that with Octopath Traveler. But just maybe just bring in a couple, like just a couple minute trailer, just like, you know, other stuff that's in it, or, and then maybe the full name reveal, and that's it. But I do feel like since they focused so much on it in their last direct, it'll probably show up just for a little bit in the E3, E3 direct, maybe. So, yeah. That's my take on that. And then we have um, Monolith. So that's not how you spell Monolith Soft. I cannot spell today. Monolith Soft. And there's, according to what I've seen, there's been, it's been a while since we've seen anything new from Monolith Soft, who's make, for those of you who don't know, they do a lot of the Xeno games like Xenoblade and Xenosaga. I know I only really know Xenoblade. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? If it expands, yeah, I'm good with that on the board. So, I do feel like since it's been like cuz Xenoblade 2 was like it wasn't like a release thing, but it was like very close to release. It was in the same year as the release of the Switch. And I think that's been their latest project. Besides, you know, working a little bit on Pirate Mithra and Smash. I think they um, helped a little bit on that, just like with voice lines and stuff. But I don't, I if my memory is correct, we haven't seen anything from them in a while. So I think it's possible we could see something from them. And now we'll move on to our new thing, which is um, Fire Emblem. Which, Fire Emblem. It's definitely not a franchise I'm very interested in, but I know it's a franchise that plenty of people are all that plenty of other people are interested in. 
So, and there's been like, apparently Fire Emblem games come out much more frequently than I remember, because Three Houses was like almost two years ago. And apparently, apparently now it's time for a new Fire Emblem game. Again, I don't fire, follow Fire Emblem too much, but apparently it is getting about that time to reveal a new game. So, cool. And now we'll move on to something that I personally heard about and I think I'd be pretty excited for, which is a new IP of some kind. Where it's just like, apparently, Furukawa, the president of Nintendo, has apparently been talking about focusing on new IP for the second half of the Switch. And apparently we are in the second half of the Switch's lifetime, so I think it is very likely that we will see a new IP. Let's keep it up there then. <laughs> what are you doing? What is my computer doing? I think, yeah, I think it's possible that we'll see a new IP, is what I'm saying. Then for our next square, we have, okay, yeah, uh, Zelda 35th anniversary and I am, yes I am including this separately from Breath of the Wild 2 because yes Breath of the Wild 2 would probably happen if we have an official Zelda 35th anniversary it would probably release within that timeline of a the it starts from here and ends here it would probably drop some time in there but I'm putting Breath of the Wild 2 there as more of an like there's more of an inevitability. This one is like, I'm kind of not going so sure about because it, it would make sense for them to do Zelda 35th anniversary, but I feel like they would have at least mentioned it kind of in their February direct. So I, th I kind of see this one as less likely than just news on Breath of the Wild 2 in general. So we may not get a, you know, full thing on Zelda 35th anniversary, but Something that I classify as Zelda 35th anniversary is like maybe bringing over, and I'd, I'd include Skyward Sword as part of the Zelda 35th anniversary celebration, but it just seemed more in it. Like maybe the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, whether they come as a bundle or separately, if, they were to, if the Wii U versions were like ported to the Switch, I would see that as a way to chuck this off. So, um, and then... Something that I also included that is, you know, pretty much anything, any new game that is Zelda based, I would include in this. So like, um, for example, there's a couple things that I think would overlap that would allow me to check off multiple boxes. So for example, they announced like Legend of Zelda 35, I would cross this off and this off and the new 99 game. I would, I would count that as both of them. So I, yeah, I do, I do think it's very likely that we'll see something. I, th I just think it's more likely that we'll just see Breath of the Wild 2. So if it only shows that, unless they specifically mention, we are celebrating the 35th anniversary of Zelda by releasing this game. That is the only way that I'll mark them both off at the same time. Okay, anyway, moving on. So the next thing that I think will happen is Pokemon of some kind. And as I am, <laughs> the day that I'm recording this, they just revealed the release dates for Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, I do think that this is slightly less likely now. And there will probably be a Pokemon Presents at, an, like, a week before E3. So, I don't think this is as likely as a lot of the other things on this list. But, I figured I'll be safe with my predictions. I'll put it on here. And we'll see what happens. So, yeah, there's Pokemon. And our final thing is something that will seem vague, but really, like, if you were to know me, you would be like, <laughs> this is not as rare. So, um, our last thing on here is a extremely insane reveal. And you're thinking, it's like, oh, it's E3, of course, there's going to be an extremely insane reveal. Here's my thing, though. I... With me, I am not the most, like, get up out of the chair and go like, Whoa, that's crazy! So, for me, an extremely insane reveal that, 
Um, I will that will qualify as me checking off this box. Will be if I go something like whoa. It's like even I like don't usually go something like that. My reactions are fairly. I feel like mediocre with things like this. Like if I go so like whoa, that's crazy. Then I will cross that off and just you know just letting you know right now i'm not the craziest reaction guy but i'd appreciate it if you come down and you still still see my reaction to it because you know um i would appreciate it and numbers make me happy so if you feel like you want to you can you know hit that like button and that subscribe button comment below if you think that this is a total just like dream team list or something that is no way even not even going to get uh, one thing crossed off. But, you know, I'd, li I'd appreciate it if you came down and watched it with me. Also, because kind of update on life, I did just graduate high school, high school recently. So this won't necessarily mean that I'll be posting more. I know that... Um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I tried to do the music videos, matchup videos, like once every Saturday, and I've fallen off that for the past couple weeks. That was just because it's big crunch time with high school. And so final graduation things are happening like the day I'm recording, so that's fun. And that won't necessarily mean that I'll be uploading a lot more because I'm going to try to get a summer job and stuff, but um, I'll have a little more time to do stuff. And hopefully that includes more stuff like this camera and then because the mashups I feel like the mashups are fairly easy to do they take me like 30 minutes max to get like record the song find the, like a base image to use write up the description stuff and get it ready to upload they don't take that long so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do more fun stuff than just this I guess I, I like doing the music stuff but I like to be able to do more than just music stuff like maybe little comedy skits or just Maybe playing games. Because I recently did pick up Metopia. So, I'm still trying to figure out how to make... Because I have very limited equipment, I'll admit it. As you can see by my setup, I'm using, the, I'm using a Chromebook. And the camera and the screen recording feature, screen capture feature at the same time. So that way I can actually get audio off of this. So, yeah, that's fun. Um... But yeah, I have a capture card, and right now I'm just trying to figure out a way to get audio from the game, and audio, record audio from the game, and audio from myself at the same time, and, you know, on the same system, because I could, like, use my phone, like a voice recording app, but that would be a pain to, like, edit in later, you know, and make sure that it's, like, all synced up nicely. That would be painful. I don't want to have to do that, so... I'm trying to figure out a way to do that right now. And so hopefully I would like to share this experience with you guys because I played the demo. I had a ton of fun with it. And I know that there's all kinds of abominations that I can make on this thing. So hopefully stuff like that will be up soon. So anyway, thanks guys for watching my stuff that will probably not likely happen, but you never know. So I guess I will see you later. My next... Oh, man, I, I'm trying to get a music video out now, music mashup out sometime this week. But it may be that the next time, next video to come out may just be my reactions to E3. I'm not entirely sure how everything is going right now, but I'm trying to be more on top of uploading things. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.